everybody. Welcome. My name is Bianca Bruce. I am a business coach and strategist. And this platform, YouTube, is fairly new to me. And yet, for the last two weeks, um, I had to take a break. I am located in Santa Rosa, Sonoma County, and we were impacted what, by what is the worst wildfire in California's history, which is really, really hard to put into words. Um, it is devastating. If you've been on the news at all, you will have seen the absolute unimaginable um, devastation to thousands of families, thousands of homes and businesses have been lost. This community is going to take years to recover. And so for the last two weeks and for the weeks and months and years to come, my focus is going to be on my community because I believe that every single one of us, no matter where you live, uh, we are meant to use our value proposition, our purpose, the reason why we do what we do, um, to impact first and foremost our community. And community sort of implies that there's more than one. Yes, you are not really in community with yourself. So there's one more person. And in community case, it's hundreds and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people. So very likely, as with myself, our reach as uh, entrepreneurs, community members, leaders, business owners is not going to be in the thousands and the hundreds of thousands. It's maybe more in the hundreds, maybe in the thousands. Most of us have a community that isn't made up of the reach of hundreds of thousands to impact. But guess what? When you show up with everything you've got, exactly as who you are, in that strength and in that authenticity is the impact. And you will make a difference. And it's maybe a difference to one. But that one, it's going to be everything to him or her. So this month, we were going to talk about purpose. And so it happens that we weren't, be, we weren't able to hop on here and do this. but. How interesting that we are absolutely, again, faced with what is purpose? What does it mean to live your life with purpose and on purpose? There are tons of opinions and thoughts and schools and ideas, schools of thought and ideas about that. But really, I just want you to tap into that for your own self. What are your talents and what are your skills? And what is the need you're trying to meet? In the last few days, um, my purpose has been not necessarily questioned, but definitely refined in the way that the purpose gets walked and worked out. If you have seen uh, the YouTube uh, programs we've done, you will have heard me talk about work flourish. That is a word that I love, um, that I got to invent, and I get to use at will. A work flourish is you and I, us, doing the work that we are meant to do and flourishing in all of life. When circumstances happen, your value proposition as well as your work and your flourishing gets impacted. You begin to question uh, the reason for why things are happening. You begin to question um, what is going on. You begin to try to make sense of the circumstances and maybe you have no words to put on the events, on what's happening, but you know you're changed. So how does purpose fit into that? Well, here's this thing, uh, and it came to me at a, uh, at a meeting that I had at a site of a home that was burned down. And uh, the fire was so fierce and so fast that it consumed absolutely everything in its, in its path. Um, and the only thing that was remaining were a few trees around and a chimney. And I was standing on this site, and when you stand on, on, on the site, uh, or near or with someone who has been um, completely altered, uh, changed, tragically impacted, it's almost like you're standing on sacred ground. You, you know this is something really different, really special. You can feel it. It's almost like 
you can feel it on the bottom of your feet. You can feel it and sense it in the air. You can definitely sense it with the person you're talking to. So I was standing there and I was having an assessment meeting with a, with a few folks. And as I was looking around and we were all just trying to wrap our minds around something that is unimaginable um, and was completely unfathomable, no words could meet what we were seeing. Um, I was looking down and I saw something and I put it, I picked it up and I took it home. It's this little branch with a pine cone attached. And if, if you were close, you would be able to see that there's the edges of the pine cone are, 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 are black and are charred a bit. And the pine cone has almost blossomed, it's opened up. The extreme heat has just made it open and, and bloom in a way. And I read up on it, um, remembering actually my early middle school education, um, that that pine cones release the seed, uh, the seed that uh, they're holding, um, they release that um, only after it being exposed to heat, sometimes extreme heat. And so it made me think about um, this, this idea of purpose. And sometimes I don't believe that we have to go through incredibly devastating uh, situations. But I do believe that in every devastation and in every extreme circumstance, um, there is something that is opened up and released, like a seed that is able to pop out and, and fall on fertile ground and grow something new. So um, about a week after the fires, um, they were not yet extinguished. It took first responders and firefighters uh, really diligent, uh, incredible work, nonstop, 24-7, without any break. Uh, it took them well over a week to, to put the fires out. Um, but, but some of us had to return to work. And I remember conversations with people who weren't in, in the area. Um, clients abroad and in other places being excited for me and excited for us to return to normal and and it the excitement i appreciate it but i want to just share with you that when you live your life with purpose on purpose in your value proposition sometimes the circus circumstances that occur they they change you and even though they may open you up and they may release a seed to plant something new and there will be flourishing, normal is not something that you are likely going to encounter. But return, that's what we're about. So I want you to think of your circumstances. I want you to think of places in your life. Maybe it wasn't a devastating tragedy, but, an, but, but, a, but a change. Uh, perhaps you didn't get a promotion. Perhaps you lost a job. Perhaps it was um, something completely different. Um, a loss or even a success. A circumstance that changed you. A return is beautiful, but normal gets reestablished. And I would like to propose to you that the way normal happens, uh, a, a, a way that it feels right again, where you feel uh, realigned with yourself and, and, and your community. If that was normal, then the way that that occurs is if you and I, when all of us, remind ourselves of who we are, whose we are, uh, our value, our non-negotiable, um, undoubtable uh, worth, and the, the value we bring into anything we do, whether that is relationally or in business, in life, uh, in any part of life, in your finances, in your health, in your relationships with your family or your friends, in, in intimate relationships, in business relationships, whatever it may be that you do, when you know your value and what you bring into, um, into the work you do, that is when you can see a resemblance of bringing back, returning back to something that feels alive again. In the meantime, for those of us who are just freshly recovering from a tragedy and from a devastating circumstance, we want to be really patient and kind. We want to count on our grit 
like we have started to say, and our gracefulness, like we have started to notice, and our resilience that we are reacquainted with. And we want to give ourselves patience and time. There are so many wonderful hashtags that have come up throughout this time. My two favorite ones are these. Wine Country Strong, because five counties were affected by these fires. And the other one feels much more personal and feels very true to the work that I have done and my value proposition as a woman here on earth, a mother, a friend, a business owner. I believe that love remains. And so those are the two. A wine country strong and love remains. Remember who you are. Remember why you do what you do. And remember that your purpose happens when your calling and your strength and your talents and your skills and your tools overlap with a need. And sometimes the needs change in a moment. It's a pleasure to talk to you. I hope that I won't have to miss another one. Give me your questions, your thoughts, ideas, your pushback. If you have been, if you're local and you've been through this with us, if, we, if we're going through this together, um, drop me a note. And if, you, if you're not here, if you're far away places, I wish you the best as well. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. I will see you next week. Much love. Bye.